Love them knives here. We're talking bag knives. I won't make you beg to get this knife. Uh, these are available now. Wow. I went to Atlanta Blade Show 2024. Talked to Mark at the uh, bag knife uh, booth. And he had knives there, but they weren't out. They weren't available yet. Okay. So he had them like the Galaxy and the Microburst and the Sation and the One, O-N-E, One. Um, and see my videos. I'll try and put them down below to where you can look at the videos on One, Sation. I haven't done the Galaxy yet, but here's the Microburst. Microburst. And this is an otter loop. This is really a combination of Olsen and JVO, which is Jared Von Otterloo and Olsen. Now, Olsen is a custom knife maker, and Jared had worked with him on uh, doing designs and stuff. And I think Olsen is the one that had developed this little flipper mechanism years ago. Years ago. And so... They've incorporated it together with Jared's design into this microburst, which is just a little carry stubby, fat, nasty little animal. It's an animal is what it is. Because I'll tell you what, this is not a, just a, a little tiny gent carry. This will let you know it's there, right? It's a chunk. It is a chunk. Um... And they are, I believe, these are VG10. Yeah, they are. They're VG10 blades, okay? So, what was I doing a video on something that was a 10CR15, blah, blah, blah. And I go, what is that? What is that like? And somebody goes, it's pretty close to VG10. Or maybe just another name for it. So, VG10, of course, has been out there forever, right? forever with the uh, kitchen knives and well i mean obviously spiderco uses it you know all the time in the delican indoor or whatever okay so this is what this is this is a microburst this is the rosette pattern okay uh let me see if this uh, yeah okay so here this is on knife center this is where i pulled it up where it's actually available right now uh for sale jvo microburst okay and uh rosette black that's what this dog is right here okay and the blade length's 2.25 two and a quarter inches uh, closed length three and a half, VG10, Warren clipped, hollow grind, satin, blah, 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 satin finish on the blade, black aluminum, etc., etc. They're not very expensive either. What is that? 119. Okay. And that's for this one here. See, this is the other variant. So you decide. Check it out. Aluminum. Definitely a pattern in here that helps with, uh, with grip. And look at the pocket clips. Now you've got a big, looks like ceramic ball on there. All right. Interesting looking, aren't they? And let's take a look at that. I guess that is a hollow grind on there. Huh. Let me grab this. Okay. What are you up to, buddy? Okay. Hmm. Wow. I'll bet. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is your thing. It's going to be a little kind of a box cutter, craft knife, uh, cutting boxes open, cutting boxes down, doing whatever like that around. Now, I got this at the show. 
So, I mean, that's why it's, we, it was kind of makeshift, uh, you know, get box that was hanging around here or there. I think this is more like the official version, obviously. But this is the way both of them look. Maybe move that off of there. Like that, okay? Now, get how fat is this? It is not thin. 14.4 at 0.56 i mean i guess you know it, it's not six tenths of an inch so i mean it's not hugely fat but it's not real thin it feels kind of chunky is what it does and let me see what the blade is 0.13 so 3.5 yeah 3.5 millimeter okay which is pretty thick these days, most of the stuff I'm running under this camera is 2.8 millimeter. This is 3.5, okay? And what do you weigh? Well, that's not as... I mean, you know, it feels chunky in the hand. I guess it's because it's so small. And they were saying, what, three and a half inches? Hold on. I... Uh, well, I mean, I'm sorry. Three and a half, um, I'm sorry, at handle length of course um my mind has just left my body here come on come on catch you okay five and five eighths all right at 14 and a half centimeters there you go did i say 3.5 overall yikes losing it there you go flipper though this is real fidgety you know, I mean, you can, you got the button, so you got that, and then you got the little flipper, so you can do what you want there, okay? And both of them are pretty snifty. It's just, they're very different, aren't they? Let me see. The rosette pattern and the other pattern, I don't know if they call that a particular pattern on there. Hmm. Not that I can see. Yeah, in this inset, this is done differently. That's machined differently. Yeah, both of them are a bit different. I wonder what they look like inside. One thing that Mark was saying was, you know, I mean, here in this way, they're like a three-finger knife. But actually, he says, well, it was brought to my attention that if you get up on this thing, you can get all your fingers on there. So you can grip it with all fingers in this way. Um, but otherwise, if you're going to hang back, there you go with that. And easy. Now, let me see what the detent is like. No, it'll snap out. Yeah, okay. This one, let me see if they're the same. Yeah, about. Okay, yeah, about the same. Okay. So what do you think? The design, the size, too small, too big? Um, you know, I like small knives and big knives. It just depends on what I want for what reason. So I have small knives, I have medium knives, I have big knives, I have huge knives. And so this is the microburst, very fidget friendly, small, chunky, and not as heavy as I had thought it would be. So this may not feel to you, but to me it felt kind of chunky and, um, you know, heft you had some heft to it it wasn't too light so there that is and you know what i think we need to take a little peek inside and see what it looks like from a disassembly standpoint put the big blue in here Ooh, let's see if i can get my drivers out i had them all bagged up and let's dump all you crazy guys out here put you on the mat okay what do we got and I you know I don't know which side to start from and 
Okay, maybe this side. If it's a captured pivot, then it's a good thing I didn't put too much pressure on the other side. Yikes, that would be bad. And you know what? I think it might be a captured pivot. That looks like it's flattened off on that side. Maybe why it wasn't coming loose, huh? And let's see. Let's see if this will come apart. So far, so good. What part have I missed? I'm not sure if I missed any parts. Okay, so here it comes. Um, okay, let's take these scale screws. And they look the same size, so let's put them in with the pivot screw. And there we go. There's the presentation side in aluminum. And then obviously that's steel. Yep. Okay. So what do we got? We got a skeletonized liner, and it looks like a D-shaped pivot here. So, ooh, we got it. We got it. Oh, did I just throw the spring clear across the room? Probably. And here's the. Here are the ceramic. Ooh, just about lost that too. Wow. There's the stop. There's the ceramic bearings. Let's see what we got for the pivot. And the pivot does is a, the one piece. And uh, it's captured. Okay. And then we've got the ceramic bearings that we can throw down here. And it's not like they juiced them up all that much, is it? I really don't see a lot of that. Okay. At all, really. There it is. And there's your liner. So this is presentation side. Liner with it. Here's your blade. And here's your, well, lock side or whatever you want to call it. With the, uh, with the backspacer. And the pocket clip comes in from that side and I don't know if those are those are number eights as well so everything on this knife is a number eight now I gotta go chase the spring yep came apart and went together uh pretty well and uh it seemed pretty clean I was trying to like dig and see if I could uh clean up any surfaces but I really didn't come up with much of anything it definitely did not have an abundance of lube in it, which is fine with me. I'd rather have it almost none than way too much. And uh, it went right back together, too. I was kind of surprised. Uh, just watch when you pull that, that plunger out. You just don't let the spring go, you know, bouncing across the room. Because that's not fun to have to go chase. But there they are, the micro burst from bag knives. They're out now. You can get one. And this might this might be something you'd be interested in. I mean, this is definitely not for the guy who loves the big huge knives. But I like big huge knives, but I also like the smaller ones because they're just great little carry around users. And these will be that too because they're not very expensive. And here they are. We do love them knives. Links are below. And you guys, stay sharp.